World Backup Day is appropriately placed the day before April Fool's Day because you'd be a fool not to back up your digital data. I'm Linda Sadcast with imaphotohero.com, here to give you some sobering statistics and some practical ways to back up your irreplaceable digital files. According to worldbackupday.com, more than 60 million computers will fail worldwide this year. More than 200,000 smartphones are lost or stolen every year, and 1 in 10 computers are infected with viruses each month. The question for us to ask ourselves is this, when was the last time I backed up my photos and files? Let me share some ways I back up my files. I don't store most of my files on my computer. Instead, I use external hard drives. They're cheap and easy to use for how much data they can store. I keep all my photos in one external hard drive and then back them up to a second external drive. That way, if one drive fails, I have a backup. It's unlikely that both of them will fail at the same time. I have similar sets of drives for my business files. You can back files up from one hard drive to the other manually, but it's much easier to back them up automatically using software. My backup software is Carbon Copy Cloner. But don't take my word for it. Technology is always changing, so search online for the term Backup Software Review 2019 to get the latest reviews for your operating system. I'm also a firm believer in backing up online in the cloud. Again, you can search using the term best online cloud storage or something similar. I actually use two cloud services, Google Photos and Amazon Photos. As long as you have a Google account, Google Photos is free for an unlimited number of photos. If you agree to a slight amount of compression, if the photo is larger than 16 megapixels. Or you can choose to pay for it if you want no compression at all, even on larger files. Now, if you're a professional photographer, paying for storage might make sense. But for my purposes as a backup only, I chose the free service. I did compare some compressed photos with the originals and was satisfied with the quality. By the way, this service is just for photos and doesn't include video or documents. Another great cloud service is Amazon Photos. If you subscribe to Amazon Prime, this service is free as long as you're a member. Amazon Photos also has unlimited storage for photos, but not for videos or documents. And in their case, none of the photos are compressed. So I actually use both of those services. Just call me paranoid, but there are things I like about both of them. And the upside is that it's easy to share photos with family and friends on both of those sites. So that's especially helpful for sharing heritage photos. You can use an app on your computer or on your smartphone to automatically back up your photos to either Google Photos or Amazon Photos. So there's really no excuse for any of us to leave it to chance and risk losing our valuable and irreplaceable photos. Let World Backup Day be the push we need to back up our photos by March 31st so we won't turn out to be an April Fool. This is Linda Sadcast with imaphotohero.com where we help you turn shoeboxes of photos, slides, and negatives into shareable family stories.